Have you ever wondered why we ask you to learn about a database software, especially Access? It's so hard to learn. Maybe you wonder what databases are anyway and why you should care. Well, let's talk about that here in our little introductory video. A, a database is just a, a collection of information. You might have a recipe box or an address book or, or um, look at a business inventory tracking in a warehouse or maybe just keeping track of students' grades. All of those are examples of databases. Now you say, but why do I need to know a database? Well, all businesses use databases to track information. Now, you may not use Access, just like you may not drive a Mercedes, you might drive a Chevrolet, but they're the same idea. They're both databases, just a different one. And the skills and procedures that you would use in a database are consistent between programs. They may look different, but all databases do the same thing. Let's go look at a database, and I'll show you that you already use databases. You just don't know it. Here I am at the Land's End database, and I need to buy my husband a new dress shirt. So I'll go to Men's uh, Dress Shirts. And right now there are, oops, get past that. There are 103 items from which to choose. Now then, what I'm going to do is choose a regular size and a traditional fit. And even with those two choices, I've moved down from 103 items to 48 items. I could continue choosing more database features. I'm querying the database until I finally got down to the exact shirt I wanted. So you use databases all the time. But they're more easy to use, perhaps, than what you see with an Access database. That's all. Let me tell you about the main features of a database. Everything is based on a table. A table ho holds the raw data. It's a kind of like a spreadsheet kind of a format. And every table is a name of something, an, a noun. Students, women's shirts, grades, tires. And then many related tables make up the whole database. A second feature of a database is a query, which just means question. In British English, that is the word they use for question. A, a query lets you get certain information from the database instead of getting everything. Two other items are forms and reports. They're the same thing, except a form displays on the screen electronically, and a report is intended to print on paper. Frequently, what you do is make a query to get the information from the database, and then you create the form or report or both from the query. This is what Access looks like. It's always confusing for beginners. I understand that because it's not like the other programs. But on the left-hand side, you'll have a set of categories of objects. Um, access in uh, items are in objects, like multiple pages in a document or multiple slides in a PowerPoint. We have multiple objects in an Access database. We have tables, and you can see the arrow to see kind of what it looks like, like a spreadsheet. And then queries are questions to the, to the database to get information. And then finally, forms and reports. And the customer form, forms are intended to be filled out online, whereas a report is intended to print out on paper. Well, those are the major features of a database, whether Access or any other one. And if you understand these four concepts, you'll be ready to proceed on to learning a little bit more detail about databases.